Hey, Mario. Hello, Kevin. So as you know, we get a lot of questions about painting wood paneling. Yes. Um, and people, it, it gets a lot of them nervous. <laughs> they don't want to paint the original paneling. All the time. And they also wonder if they can do it or not. And so your thoughts on it? Oh, absolutely you can, but it all depends who you ask to. Remember one thing, removing paint is much harder than put paint on it. True. What about philosophically? When you see old wood paneling, natural wood, how do you feel about painting over it? I mean, you get asked to do it a lot, so you do it a lot, but you know, okay, good to do, sacrilegious, what? I mean, believe it or not, we're doing a lot of this lately. Yeah. People want to see more color than natural wood on our days. Okay. So sometimes if we see like a beautiful wood, the mahogany, I, I kind of say, well, I mean, I'm a, I love the way mahogany looks, but if they wanted to paint, this is what I do. All right. So this is raw wood, um, but is the technique the same? We're going to start with a light sanding? We're going to start with the light sanding. We're going to sand it out just light. Just needs to be crazy. Looks like you got, I'm, I'm feeling like a 220 here on my Like path. we got a, like a 220 grit paper. Just lightly sand. And if this were covered in a varnish or a poly, again, not trying to take it off, just trying to break the surface. Yeah, we don't need to strip it down at the bare wood. All we need to is rough up the surface a little bit just in order to get a, uh, the primer to get a good grip on it. All right, Kevin, we're ready to prime. Did you tint that? Person. Yeah, this is a tinted primer. It's just like gray because we're gonna use it in a darker color for final coat, so this will help with the coverage. All right, I'm gonna start at this end here. I'm gonna start to take care of all the grooves on this bead board. So if you wanna do some on that side panel there, so here's the primer. Let's start to get it done. You got it. You know what they say, right? No, what do they say? A great paint job and a good wine takes time. <laughs> I notice you've got a roller here ready to go. Would you be rolling this normally or? Yes, be rolling. We're well, gonna cut all the, the edges and the corners and then we'll be rolling the fields. Kevin, it's been about an hour, the prime is dry. If you notice, I filled up all the nail holes, mm -hmm. did a little touch up on the nail holes, patching, and lightly sand, everything is nice and clean. Okay. And it's time for us to put some paint on it. And we got a green color here that you chose. We got this dark green, it looks lighter there, but once it dries, it dries darker than it. Same technique? Same technique, we cut around the corners and the edges, and we're gonna roll the field. Yeah, it's gonna look fantastic. This is kind of a thing, right? Every piece of this wall, you know, from the stool to the nosing, to the panels, even to the baseboard, all the same color. All the same color is a big trend right now, which it looks great, you know? Okay, looking pretty good, Marl. Very good. It's a little blotchy right now because it's still wet and it's, it's setting still up. It's drying, it's drying process. Once it dries, you'll see less of that. So one of one coat or one of two coats, top This coat. is first of two coats. We first coat's done, we're gonna wait about two hours. We'll come back, we'll put the final coat, and it's gonna look nice. All right, good information, good technique, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.